this is a 300 AAC round. Now these particular ones are 208 grain so they make them in more powerful or excuse me less powerful grains I think it's some more powerful but the interesting thing is when you look at this thing compared to a 223 you're going to see some interesting similarities and some interesting differences now the similarities are the diameter of the casing is identical you see how they match up perfectly the case is basically the same okay up till here then you have the 223 which is a little longer and then it's tapered and then you have a smaller projectile whereas the 300 takes the same cartridge and is cut off and uses a very large projectile now there is advantages and disadvantages to this the disadvantages is this will not be accurate as far okay because you can see the amount of power you have in that thing is, is gonna uh, it's just it's not gonna be as much and you got a bigger projectile um, and of course it's expensive but it is it was developed by Remington who owns Advanced Armament Corporation and they sell you know some plinking rounds um, the advantages are that it uses basically the same accessories as the AR-15. Um, you do have to have, of course, the barrel, and um, you know it has to um, be able to accommodate, you know, a, a larger projectile. Um, and you can get these things. You can get ARs too. But you can get them in very short barrels, like um, I mean, short, like you know. 8 inches, 9 inches, 12 inches. Now you have to have a class 3. You can get the pistol and you, you don't have to have any kind of stamp, tax stamp. But if you convert the pistol to a rifle or you buy the rifle in a short barrel, you have to. What I have here um, is the first one I decided to purchase. Uh, I didn't want to go all out and spend um, a zillion dollars on this new round because I want to play around with it first, see how I like it. But another advantage is, as I've already mentioned, these fit in the same magazine as your AR. Now you don't want to do that, but I just want to show you how it fits in there. So you don't have to buy any more magazines. All your P-Mags and all that, yeah man, they fit the 300. And, and then here's the big advantage. Okay, they had something called a 300 Whisper. Um, which very similar for what I understand your 300 AC will shoot those but it never really took off and it just it wasn't really what they uh, whoever invented that round wanted but AC this is this this with the SDN su suppressor it's very very quiet it is unbelievably quiet now this gun is doesn't have a suppressor I mean, set up for a suppressor. I don't have a SDN suppressor, but I'm going to get one. So, that's just a brief uh, overall. All this confusion and all what all this new caliber is. Why did I decide to get this over a 308? Well, first of all, I'm trying to keep the number of caliber guns down. So, I had to make a decision. Do I go with 308? which is more popular, you know, been around, all that stuff. Or do I go with something that, in my opinion, is going to be the future or a better future than the 308? 
I like suppressed rounds. I like the stealthness of this. I like the lethality of this. And that personally, I decided to go with this um, rather than the 308. You know, yeah, you know, you got the SCAR 17S, the Special Forces used, and all that. But, uh, you know, honestly, I just thought this would be a better round to get. Um, and if I don't like it, you know, I don't have a lot invested in it right now. And so I, I can sell it if I don't like it. But I'm going to like it. I can tell you that. Um, so as we uh, learn the ins and outs of this particular gun, we will go over them with other videos. I, I like this because... For the money, this is very reasonable. It's um, around a thousand bucks or under. It does have a bayonet lug, which is really nice. Um, so, there you go.